everybody. I'm Doug Llewellyn, and welcome to another edition of Close Up on America's Business, coming to you from our studio high atop the trading floor at the American Stock Exchange on Wall Street in New York. Synergy, that's a word you hear a lot in big business these days, and the company you are about to meet is a classic example of synergy that has been really successful. It's the story of a merger between two entities, one a meat processing firm with facilities here in New York and in Colorado, and the other a consortium of ranchers throughout the West. Together they formed an entity known as Mountain States Rosen, and today that is the largest provider of lamb and veal products in the U.S. And what's interesting is that it's a story of a company that's constantly introducing new cuts and forms of their products which are causing an increase in sales of lamb and veal throughout the United States. The company is headquartered here in New York with an equally large facility in Greeley, Colorado. And to get an idea or a really good picture of how it all works, we visited the production floor here in New York and spoke with many of the company's key executives. Mountain States Rosen combines two different companies. First was B. Rosen and Sons, which is uh, my family business, I'm third generation. Uh, started as a full meat wholesaler in the Harlem market of lambs, pork, beef, veal, full integration of everything. There's the B. Rosen side, which is David and myself here, and the other half is the Mountain States lamb and wool growers, and they're made up of 100 to 150 individual farmers. They produce lambs. They've combined themselves to make a co-op, and the co-op has equal percentage in this business, and we, we share in the, the growth together. We've been able to develop an all-natural lamb with never been given any hormones or antibiotics, and, and we have affidavits signed on this that we've been able to market that nobody else in the domestic industry could do. We're always looking um, not what we've done yesterday or what's happening today but uh, where do we need to go what would help promote lamb and veal in new york we specialize in um, lamb and we also have veal in colorado we just have our lamb operation we probably fabricate about 30 percent of the domestic lamb market in lambs and uh, we are a major player in the veal operation. The veal operations here are one of the largest operations throughout the country. Our weekly usage is anywhere from 850 to 1,000 head of cattle a week, and we have distribution throughout the country. We took specific items, like what you have here is a round bone shoulder veal chop. This item, if an average retailer didn't sell all the components of the chuck, they didn't bring the item on. So naturally, we wouldn't have any cuts available to the consumer. What they tried to do is bring in specific cuts. So what you really had was a shrinking category. So what we did, we decided was we would take the items that they didn't produce at store level, or they didn't have the expertise at store level, or they didn't have the time to produce it, and we would produce it in our facility. We bring carcass in from our Colorado plant. From here, we separate by the various sizes because we have a large customer base anywhere from restaurant to institution to retail, and each customer wants a certain cut. So as you see the lamb right here, you'll see where it's flanked. When it's flanked, you can see the size of the eye, the color, the quality, the platability, which is, you know, how you chew on something if it's very tender. So from here, everything is flanked. The trotters are taken down. Make sure it's a good quality animal. And from here, it's moved into the room where it's cut on the saw. So the men on the line who are actually cutting the land, they're grading them as well. Am no, right? everything is done by the saw. Everything is sorted by the various customers in the next room. So that happens later? Yes, that's in the processing room. Our customer base consists mainly of retail chains whether it be East Coast, West Coast, across the whole country, retail chains. We do have a solid food service business as well. Imported lamb that's out there is from New Zealand or Australia, and it's, it's a lot different than the domestic lamb that we produce here. Our lamb is uh, grain-fed, and most of the lamb from New Zealand is grass-fed. Uh, they actually produce their lambs for the wool, and the meat is a byproduct. 
whereas in this country we produce the lambs for the meat and the wool is the byproduct. That makes their lambs much more cheaper and they, they're able to bring them into this country and sell them at much lower prices than we sell our lamb. Certain types of food establishments do use them for a, a cheaper lamb dish. Mountain States Rosen is a merger between Mountain States Lamb Cooperative and B. Rosen and Sons. This merger makes us the only fully integrated lamb company in the U.S. This allows us to be in control of every phase of production up and down the, the production chain. Um, it also allows us to ensure high quality and more consistent uh, product than you'll find in the normal uh, commodity marketplace. One example of what we can do as an integrated company is provide an all-natural line of products that are antibiotic-free and hormone-free, and those are documented from birth. We're the only company in the country that can document that uh, the whole way through the production chain. Today's consumer is increasingly concerned with where their food comes from. Our cooperative members are multi-generational ranching families who are concerned with sustainable agriculture and passing their ranching heritage on to the next generation. B. Rosen & Sons is also a multi-generational meat company. This merger gives us a long history and a bright future. Now we're in the processing room right now. This is where everything happens. The two people you see on the saw, these are our specialists. These guys do all the selection for all our customers. Everything is wrote on a hand tag and they know exactly what they need for every customer. In the back, we have a person which is our flanker, push out the various sizes we need for each customer. Everything is based on when the order is going out. So maybe one guy goes out at 8 o'clock, one guy goes out at 9 o'clock. He is the guy that takes everything and makes sure everything is perfect. The tray pack is actually taking the primal cuts that the retailer used to take in his back room, put it on his saw um, and package and then take it into the, the case and, and weigh it and label it. But as time has, has passed, the skill of the butchers um, has disappeared. So they're looking for companies like ourselves who are progressive and want to keep lamb and veal in the meat case to do that skilled work at the packing plant. And um, so we've created items that just you take them out of the box, you put them in the case, and uh, usually the consumers don't really know it's been packaged elsewhere. Because of our packaging technology that we currently use, that really can control the atmosphere of the product in the tray. We control the shipping environment that it's transported in, and actually it's minimal amount of handling. The great thing about this company as a whole is we're a big company that can do anything any of our customers want. If they want a specific cut or a special box, we can do that. We can develop anything that any individual company wants. We don't just standardize our packaging, we develop for the individual consumer. I believe that we have a very high responsibility in increasing the sales of lamb and veal across the country. Uh, today's consumer, it's kind of an afterthought. Those, of, those consumers that have always liked it will buy it, but a lot of people need it in front of them with a packaging that's going to jump out at them also. Something that's going to stand out in the case to make them pick it up and say, wow, I didn't know that this was done with lamb. I want to try this. We feel that our quality equals or betters anybody within the industry, being that the feed is produced by one company under one roof that also monitors and, and watches the growers through the raising process. That allows us to have a constant high quality product throughout the year. The shoulder is actually the, um, I say the most popular retail cut. It is very tasty and it is the least expensive chop uh, in the lamb. Technically a chop is something that is cut into a chop and you're able to put on a grill or put it into a pan. Then we have our racks, rib chops, which you're probably familiar with. Then we have our loin chops. And then we've created some other items like the top rounds of lamb, which are popular not only in food service but in retail where you can make your kebabs, you can make uh, your steaks out of it, um, maybe even a lamb scallopini. You know, from 
20 years ago when we used to make four different cuts of lamb, right now we probably make close to 200 different items and packages of the various primal cuts of the lamb. What we've seen is we've been innovators in designing smaller and smaller packages where cooks these days, housewives, people in charge of the families, they don't know what to do with a whole leg of lamb. So we've actually broken it down into smaller cuts where they could just buy at the meat case, it bring it home, it has uh, cooking instructions right on it, it had recipes available on our website. Uh, so we're making it much more usable friendly and also smaller packages for smaller families. The story of Mountain State's Rosen, meat processors and ranchers working together to provide a steady supply and a higher quality of product in both lamb and veal for the American consumer. The result is a company that is now number one in sales in the United States. And that wraps it up for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from New York. Well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.